Hi guys, this is Dr. Nida with Keys of Health. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. The pandemic is still raging. Many people are getting tired of the restrictive lifestyle and dropping the very basic precautions. Don't give in now. Hang on a little longer. God willing, you will see the sunshine soon. Keep washing your hands, avoid crowded places, wear your mask when you're out in public, and most of all, boost your immunity. Take care of your immune system. In this video, I'm going to share with you the findings of a new research on some foods that are highly effective in weakening the virus and helping the body fight it effectively. I will also lay out a short list of foods, drinks, and supplements you should be taking. Prevention is always better than cure. So let's start with this new research that just came out. A North Carolina University researcher, Dr. Di Yushi, has been studying the antiviral properties of phytochemicals like flavonoids and organoids. He has found some flavonoids to be highly effective in, fight, uh, in fighting SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes COVID-19. He has pointed out three foods which are especially rich in these flavonoids. Now, the best thing that is that these foods are not only easy to find, they're delicious and quite affordable. On top of the list is green tea. Yep. Green tea contains organic compounds that have antiviral properties, and it seems to be highly effective in weakening the virus that causes COVID-19. So you know what to do. Make sure you take at least two cups of good green tea, and you want to drink it strong and without milk. Milk, whether it is from plant sources or animal, can reduce the effectiveness. I just want to add that if you have asthma, emphysema, or other lung conditions, Please avoid dairy during these days as much as possible, especially cow milk as it can cause inflammation and produce mucus. You want to avoid that as much as possible. Now, going back to the three foods which have shown to fight this virus quite effectively, next in the list is dark chocolate. Not milk chocolate because milk reduces the effectiveness of these flavonoids. Go for dark chocolate, cacao, cacao drinks, cacao powder. That's what you need. Now, the third thing is grapes. Grapes are nature's capsules full of benefits. Make sure you chew them well enough to feel the bitterness of the skin. That's how you will get the most out of them. So make sure you utilize the benefits of these three foods and make sure you eat them properly. Two cups of strong green tea daily or more, dark chocolate or cacao and grapes that you chew really well, it is quite amazing how we can almost always find answers for every illness in nature and natural products. Make use of them. Right now, as the pandemic is still raging, eat for your immunity, not to satisfy your cravings. You can always do that later. Mind your health. Right now, it's time to be smart and do what is right for your health. I will highly recommend taking vitamin C. Start with vitamin C-rich foods like citrus fruits, berries, fruits in general. Vitamin D, both through foods and sun exposure, try to spend up to 30 minutes a day in the sun. If you don't get enough sun where you are and your diet is lacking in vitamin D rich foods like fatty fish, red meat, etc., then consider taking a supplement. On top of that, you want to have zinc in your diet as well. It helps the body fight virus and strengthen the immune system. Again, red meat, beans, nuts, shellfish, whole grains are all good sources of zinc. Take one tablespoon of black seed oil daily. You can give your children one teaspoon. It is amazing for your immunity and overall health. Along with that manuka honey, I will link my video on manuka honey here where I have discussed why I recommend manuka honey. I'm sure you'll find it beneficial. If you can't find manuka honey where you are, then go for any organic, raw, unpasteurized honey. Another great thing for lungs health is frankincense or luban. Make sure you get food grade frankincense because it is used as incense as well and you don't want to consume that. Simply soak a teaspoon in a cup of water overnight and drink that water in the morning. It has a pleasant but intense flavor and aroma, so if you are sensitive to strong flavors, start with very little amount and gradually increase it to one teaspoon. These simple things can make a huge difference. Other than that, eat a wholesome diet, avoid takeouts, drink enough water, 
Drink warm drinks and avoid cold drinks and foods as much as possible. I will share with you a list of foods that have warming effect on the body on my Facebook and Instagram accounts, so make sure you check them out there. Incorporate those foods as much as possible, especially during these winter months and especially during the pandemic. You can always use them during the flu season and every winter. They're highly beneficial. Spices like clove, cinnamon, star anise, um, turmeric, and ginger are all warming foods, so add them to your diet. Uh, your food, your drink, as often as you can. Last but not least, stay active. Go for walks, hikes, go running, cycling, whatever makes you happy, but be active. An active lifestyle is not only important for your immunity, is it all, it's also very important for your um, emotional and mental health, and you definitely don't want to neglect that. High stress levels can weaken your immunity. I've done a few videos on the topic. I will highly recommend you check them out. This is it, you guys. Research is there to prove that nature has given us what we need to overcome these difficult times. Eat well, drink well, believe, remain positive. Know that spring is just around the corner. We have overcome many disasters. This is a bump in the road. Together, we will overcome this as well, God willing. Take good care of yourselves. Don't forget to like and share the video and leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. See you soon. Goodbye.